Hi, I'm Corey Williams. I'd like to show you Direct Audit, part of the new Centrify Suite 2012 Enterprise Edition. So here we see the Direct Audits Auditor Console. What the Auditor Console allows the manager to do is to see all of the sessions that he's allowed to search and replay in one single pane of glass. So I can come in here and use one of these pre-canned queries or I can choose to create one of my own. And if I want to create one of my own, I can do it with a simple text query like you would in Google. Or I can create a query and save it for use later. So let's take a look at one of these pre-canned ones to see how it was defined. If I go in here and look at, let's say, Unix privileged commands, if I right click on that and look at properties, I can see that the definition for the Unix privileged commands includes just Unix sessions where the text of the command includes either su, sudo, or dzdo. So let's take a look at some of the sessions that have been captured today. If I come to my auditor console, select the today search, I can see a set of sessions, both Unix as well as Windows sessions. I can see what machine they were captured off of. I can sort by any of those. I can even see things like when it's... started and stopped, if it's still in progress, what client it came from, and then I can include a review status. Let's say that I find an interesting session and I want to update its review status to, to be reviewed by someone like a security manager or uh, another person. I can change that state. The nice thing about Direct Audit is it doesn't just capture a video of what happened on the system. It also captures all the events and allows you to reuse those events in order to decide what part of the video might be of interest to you, as well as to do the searching that we've talked about. I can right click and select the index command list. And I can see here this was a fairly short session where a user logged in, tried to SU to root, and then he tried to get into the Etsy password file. This is one that we should definitely follow up on. We can see today that Corey also had a session on a Windows machine. So let's take a look at these two sessions and see what this user was up to. What we can see here is that the replayer provides me three different views. One is a video replay window. The second is a list of all the events. That's the same list that we just looked at in the searching tool. And then there's a summary of the session that allows me to see who the user was, what machine he was accessing, and uh, the information about when it started and stopped. If you look along the bottom, you can see here I can play the session, I can speed it up, I can even get a little thumbnail of what was happening on the screen at a particular